Welcome to a code report solution video. This is going to be the second video in a series I think I'm going to start calling iHeart, APL, and Haskell, where we are going to look at two solutions to a simple leak code problem in two different languages, APL and Haskell, which are my favorite languages. So jumping into the problem, it's called sign of the product of an array. It was the first problem in the leak code contest that happened yesterday on April 9th, 2021. And basically you're given an array and you're asked to return what the sign of the number uh, that it results from the product of all of the numbers in the array. Um, so for this one, because you have an even number of negatives, it's going to be one. For this one, because you have a zero, it's going to be zero. And for this one, because you have an odd number of negative numbers, you're going to get back a negative one. So it's a pretty straightforward problem. As we did in our last uh, iHeart, APL, and Haskell video, let's take a look at the top voted solutions on LeetCode. So here is Java, Java, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript. So let's take a look at all of these. Um, so our first one in Java is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lines. OK. Our second Java solution is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lines. So, so far, average of 11 lines. Our C++ solution is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lines. Our next Java solution, who knows? This is even more lines, 15, 16. Our Python solution, single pass, looks like it's roughly 10 lines. And our JavaScript solution is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So all of these solutions are roughly the same. We've got some state that's keeping track of either the you know product of the numbers or the negative. And then we've got some for loop with a couple different cases inside. And at the end of the day, we're returning a negative one or one. Not too difficult to follow these, but it just breaks my heart when I see these solutions uh, when compared to the either functional Haskell solution or the array oriented uh, APL solution. So let's hop over first to Haskell as we did last time to take a look at how to solve this in Haskell. So in Haskell, we have one of our tests preloaded. We're calling it x. And the first thing we need to know in Haskell is that there is a function called signum, which takes a number or an integer and returns either a negative 1, 0, or 1 based on the sign of that number. So if you do signum of 10, you're going to get 1 because that's positive. Signum of 0 is 0. And signum of any negative number, I believe we have to put this in parentheses is going to be negative one. So if we map our signum over x, we're going to get a product of just the signs, which is exactly what we want. And once we have this, all we need to do is just take the product of this array, and we have our answer. So we're done. We can go let array sign equals, move my mouse out of the way, product map signum and we're done, and array sign of x is going to give us our answer. And if we do uh, something with a 0 in it, this is going to give us 0. And if we do something with an even number or odd number of negatives, we're going to get back, and we don't have a 0, we're going to get back a negative 1. So the composition of basically uh, two functions, one of which is being mapped over our initial list, is all we need to do to solve this problem. So single line, three functions product, map, and signum, and we're done. So Haskell, very beautiful. I love functional programming. Let's take a look at what the equivalent solution looks like in a, an array-oriented language such as APL. So let's hop over into our ride editor. So here in our remote IDE, aka ride, we have x preloaded as well. So we also have a signum function in APL. It's called sign, and it's the monadic multiplies. So this is... Uh, multiplication in the dyadic case, aka when you take a left argument and a right argument, it's multiplication. Uh, but in the monadic case, where you only have a right argument, this is signum, aka sine of. So for 4, it's going to give us 1. 
Uh, for zero, it's going to give us zero. And for a negative number, it's going to give us a negative one. So if we apply this to our initial array x, uh, the mapping is implicit in APL and other array programming language. So this will give us the array that we want. And then all we have to do is a product, aka a multiply reduction over this array. And in this case, we just need to take our binary multiplies operation, combine it with reduction, and we're good to go. So this is our solution. Three characters. You should be jealous if you are programming in Python, Java, C++, or any of those languages because three characters and we're able to solve this problem. Um, and just to check that this work, I have preloaded. So actually, let's show first. I have in a test array, uh, I have the three different tests. So if we take our solution, multiplies, reduce, sign of, and then we do this for each of our subarrays in tests, you'll see that we get 1, 0, and negative 1. And this corresponds to the answers that the leak code uh, solutions show us. So that's it. Uh, we're basically done. Uh, I just wanted to highlight that you don't need to be writing you know, 10, 11, 15 line solutions in these other languages. Um, and I'm not saying the other languages are bad, but learning these functional and array-oriented languages that exist in different paradigms can help you to solve these problems more simply. A lot of the languages like C++, Java, Python, they have libraries that support functional programming. And so you can get solutions that are closer to these sort of three algorithms uh, composed together in order to solve it in a single line instead of 15. So hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. And as always, I hope you have a great day.